If you're trying to grow your edges or any part of your hair and you haven't tried Jamaican black castor oil, then you haven't tried enough. <laughs> but if you have tried Jamaican black castor oil in your hair with no results, then it means you didn't use it the right way. In today's video, I'm going to show you two ways to use Jamaican black castor oil to boost your hair growth. When I did my big chop, Jamaican black castor oil with other natural ingredients helped me grow my hair much really fast. And now my hair is really full and it's flourishing. If you want to learn how to do this, make sure you're not skipping any part of this video and you're watching to the end. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. And if you're new here, I am super excited to have you join us today. So one of our main ingredients for today's recipe is rosemary herbs. But before getting into all that, I would love for you to show me some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will be notified. My next ingredient for today is olive oil. Olive oil is lightweight and can be easily penetrated into your hair strands. It can help stop hair breakages and also treat your scalp of danger. I use about half a cup of olive oil. In this pot of boiling water, I put a mason jar which has the rosemary herbs and the olive oil in the water for about 20 minutes or till it was warm to touch. After the oil has cooled down, make sure to strain the oil. I use a paper towel, but you can use anything that you have, your cheesecloth or anything with tiny holes. At this point, I'm going to add some vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil has so many great benefits for hair growth. They can stop hair breakages and treat your scalp. Vitamin E oil can prevent dandruff and dry itchy scalp. It can also add some strength to your hair strands and make you grow much stronger, thicker and fuller. The next thing that I'm going to add is my lavender oil. Lavender oil has some great fragrance that you will love. It can also treat your scalp and help you grow much healthier hair. Just a few drops will do the trick. And now our main ingredient is the Jamaican black castor oil. This oil is known to help grow your hair much faster and thicker. If you are suffering from hair thinning or you are losing your edges, this should be your go-to oil. But it's a really thick oil and sometimes people wonder how to use it. So to maximize its benefit, you can add this oil to this recipe to make the use much easier. When you have it this way, there are so many ways that you can use it that will maximize your hair growth. At this point, I'm just going to transfer it into a bottle to make the application much easier. You can either transfer it into a mason jar or to a bottle like so. Let me show you the best way to use this oil. Alright, there are so many ways you can use this. You can use it as your pre pull treatment or you can just use it to seal in moisture in your hair. So whenever you use it, make sure you have access to your scalp. Just put this oil to any part of your hair that needs it and massage it in. The next way that you can use Jamaican black castor oil to maximize your hair growth is using it with some onions. Onions have so many great benefits for natural hair growth. It contains sulfur and what that does is it helps prevent hair breakages, hair thinning or any hair fall. So when you have your onions like so, just remember to remove the skin and once the skin is removed, make sure to wash it. You do not want any impurities or dirt in your recipe. And here you are, if you're still watching this video to this point and you haven't given this video a thumbs up, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs using natural ingredients to grow your hair, you will always be notified. And when you do click on the bell, do not forget to select all so you do not miss any of my videos. So I added olive oil and I'm also going to add coconut oil. I love these two oils because of their benefits to hair growth. These two oils are lightweight and can, can easily be penetrated into your hair strands. They can also add some shine and strength to your hair strands. Aside that, they can also help prevent hair breakages, hair fall, as well as hair thinning. So after I blend everything like so, I added about half a cup of olive oil and also half a cup of coconut oil. You do not have to follow the same measurement, depending on the quantity that you are making, you can either add more or less. So once I have it like so, I'm going to cook it on a very low heat. Make sure you stay with your mixture because you do not want to burn it. You have to keep stirring it every now and then. So 
So after you get it like so, you're going to put it on the stove for about 30 minutes. Make sure that fire is on a low heat settings. And after that, if this is the color you want, you're going to set it off and allow it to cool down. At this point, we're going to strain our onion oil. You can use any material with tiny holes, cheesecloth, your stockings, your wake up, anything with tiny holes. Just make sure it is clean and it has no dirt in it because you don't want to contaminate your oil. After getting the oil out like so, I still saw some impurities in it and I do not want that in my hair. So the next thing is to strain it the second time. You can use a paper towel or anything to do this the second time. So after everything, my oil is ready. <laughs> Let me show you how to get rid of some of the scents in this oil. I'm just going to maximize this benefit and I'm going to add some tea tree oil. Tea tree has so many great benefits and this is a tea tree essential oil. They can treat your scalp from dandruff and dry itchy scalp. They can also help you grow much healthier and thicker hair. After adding that, we're going to add our Jamaican black castor oil. See, adding these two oils will also maximize the benefit of the onion oil. The three together will help prevent hair breakages, hair fall, hair thinning. If you are balding or suffering from alopecia, this should be your go-to oil. I'm going to show you the best way to use this oil to maximize your hair growth. So after having the oil like this, I'm going to transfer it into an applicator bottle to make the use much easier. If you're still watching this video to this point, it means you're really enjoying it because I really enjoyed filming it. Show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you'll be notified. On this channel, I do a whole lot of DIYs for hair growth using natural ingredients. So feel free to join us because it's always fun out here. <laughs> Let me show you how to use this mixture. So before using this, make sure you wash your hair, you shampoo wash your hair. Why? Because you want to make sure your scalp is clean to be able to absorb all these goodies. After that, you're going to work in sections. So once you grab a section, you're going to pour this oil use your hand to massage your scalp because guess what massaging your scalp can also improve hair growth it's kind of exercising your body you know you're kind of exercising your scalp so the more you massage it it improves blood circulation which will return help you grow new healthy hair you all know new hair always grows from the scalp so treatments like these will treat your scalp and you are suffering from dandruff, dry itchy scalp, or any flakes, any, you know, thing on your scalp, it makes it hard for new healthy hair to grow. And that is why you need treatments like this to treat your scalp, to kill all those bacteria or anything that might be clogging your pores, then it will give way to new hair growth. So when you use it, make sure you massage it and do not forget the ends of your hair. Remember, the ends of our hair is the oldest part of our hair and they tend to break easily. They're really fragile. <laughs> Guess what? That is why you need to apply this oil to your ends as well. Massage it in and make sure you are rubbing it in. Whenever you finish with every section, make sure to put it in a twist to return the oil. Some people think their hair do not grow. Everybody hair grows. The fact is, if you keep losing your hair or if your hair keeps breaking or falling out, that is when you do not feel that growth because the rate that your hair is growing, the same rate your hair will be falling off. That is why these treatments will prevent your hair from breaking and to help you retain some length and some thickness. I left the oil in my hair for about 30 minutes and look how soft my hair is looking. After just one use, you will know your hair will start breaking because of how soft your hair will feel. Make sure you are consistent with this treatment. Watch the video you see on your screen right now for more recipes.